Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a jambalaya using Zatarain's jambalaya rice mix. So this is the, the box, what it looks like. So this is going to be half box um, cooking and you know half kind of modifying the recipe and doing whatever I feel is right. And it calls for two and a half cups of water, but I'm going to do two of these boxes. So I already put four cups of water, so here's into the pan. It needs to be measured right because too much water is bad because it's rice. So I try to stick to the recipe in this case. And then you have these mixes. So this came inside the box. And so I'm gonna go ahead and throw them. It's kind of a, I used this because it was seasoned already. I've made jambalaya before from scratch. Yeah, you just have to have the right seasonings, but this is just easy. There's one. And two. Easy peasy. Now, the other thing I'm going to add to this is that the box asks you to uh, cook the meat with the rice and we find it's a little better to cook it on the side because we're also going to add vegetables and the box recipe doesn't call for vegetables. I think there's some onions and things in there, but very little. So we're going to add more to it. Um, but the one thing I will cook with it in, with it in the meat, sorry, in the rice, um, is shrimp. And we have just a tiny little bit of shrimp left, just frozen shrimp. You can kind of see what it looks like. And so I will just throw it in. And these guys shrink too. There you go. And, and let it come to a boil. Then I think it was about 25 minutes on the simmer. So first we're gonna let it boil. And in the meantime, I'll start cutting some meat. All right, so we, what we did was we cooked some kielbasa and the pan, made it nice and greasy in there. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this without dumping the grease. I guess I'll just pull this kielbasa out and put it in the plate for now, because it's done cooking. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the oil from the kielbasa to cook some vegetables. And then when the vegetables are nice and cooked, we will throw the kielbasa back in and the rice, and we'll have jambalaya. So here are the vegetables I want to show you. We just use some canned mushrooms because it's easy. Anka was good enough to cut up some pe fresh peppers in the past and freeze them. So we were using those. I didn't even use too much. And uh, I also cut up an, an onion. I like kind of larger bites. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this into that pot where the kielbasa grease is and we're going to let it cook. So let's see how that goes. All right. having too much fun. So if you lack um, access to a Zatarain's box rice or want to make it from scratch, um, you can get uh, mixes like this, Cajun season blends that you can use. Um, however, if you don't have access to this either, it's really just kind of red peppers, paprika, cayenne pepper, um, garlic, sometimes onion salt, garlic powder, those kinds of things would be going into it and you should be fine. Okay, so we made a bowl of jambalaya. Can't wait to eat it. Bye, everybody. La revedere. <laughs>